What's up, MaxKD? I am. On this video, I'll show you guys how to replace the power supply on a Dell Optiplex uh, 390. This is the mini tower, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So, remove the power supply. You can remove the side panel right here. Get the uh, removed. And there's a four screws right here. Use a Phillips screwdriver to get the remove the four screws right here. One, two, and three, and four. And uh, you need a Phillips screwdriver to remove it. So now I'm going to turn it over the other side. Like that. And I'm going to disconnect four pin for the power right there. 24 pin right there. It has a secure lock. Can you see right here? There's a latch right here. You have to be really careful. You press on it, but lightly. Don't press too hard so you don't break it off. Right here, you see a secure lock right there. You're gonna you press on that, so release the secure lock. So we can set the 24 pin. We're gonna skip the uh, DVD burner drive, set the power connector for the DVD drive, and I'm gonna disconnect uh, right here for a set the power connector for the hard drive and get that disconnected. So we got that disconnected now. I'm gonna. There's a secure lock right there. You see right there and press it down lightly and then release the power supply and get that removed now I'm going to install the new power supply right here put a new one in here so I did install the new power supply now we're going to connect the 24 SATA connector first for the DVD burner and 4 pin for the connection for the power 24 pin for the power right there, connect that. And set a connector, set a power connector for the hard drive, it's like an L shape, so we're gonna connect that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, get the screws back on here, four screws, get it with the Phillips screwdriver and just you'll be done now. And guys, this is for the Dell Optiplex 390 mini tower. Thanks for watching, bye.